Hi there, so we're in uh, processing today and we're going to have a look at how we can export out a PDF from our processing sketch. Okay, and the nice thing about PDF is that it'll be vector based, you can open it in Illustrator, you can take graphics or content from your processing file and then work with it in other applications like Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop um, by importing or opening the PDF. So we're going to just show you the sketch first of all that we're going to work with. So this has uh, two elements to it. Okay, we've got the, the main uh, sketch here. Okay, and then we're also um, using this uh, collision detection here. Okay, so at the moment the sketch runs like this. So essentially we have a ball bouncing around and when it hits the sides it changes color. Okay, so we're going to use this example sketch but we want to make the image that prints out a little bit more interesting. So we're going to edit the sketch a little bit first. So we're going to close that and then just come down and in the void draw options here, we have the background drawing in and we're just going to comment that out so that the background doesn't redraw, which is what makes that circle look like it's moving around, like it's animating. Okay, so we're going to play this now. So now what we get when we play this is a continuous circle moving around and it will still change color when it hits the edges. But now we get the opportunity to actually export out this as a PDF, okay? So let's close this and have a look at the elements we need to pop into our processing sketch. So the first thing we need to do is import the PDF library. So we're gonna jump up to the top of our sketch here and just add a couple of extra lines, okay? And we're gonna import the PDF library, okay, which is, the library that gives the options to export out or write PDFs. And that is import processing.pdf.star and then a semicolon. Okay, so that's the first step. So now we've imported this library, we can go ahead and begin to draw out our PDF. Now we do this in the void setup. So as soon as we get our document set up and the size set up, we're gonna to begin to record our PDF. So we'll hit enter and the code for this is begin record PDF everything.pdf it's recording everything uh, that we're actually creating within our document so every single one of those circles is drawn will be drawn as a vector based circle which is kind of nice so once we've set that up then we need to have a way of stopping this from recording okay and we're going to use a key detection to actually do this so we're going to do this um, in the bottom of our sketch Okay, so after the setup and the draw runs, okay, we're going to add a new section which is going to be void key pressed. Okay, now we can put more than one uh, key in here to do different uh, functions, but we're going to just use one for the moment, which is going to be if key is equal to Q, so that's shift and Q, then end record and exit the sketch. Okay, so now what will happen when we record with our PDF is we're going to start writing um, a PDF from the get go and then it will keep drawing until we decide that we have enough and we can actually then end that sketch okay by pressing capital Q so let's play this and check it works so we hit play and away it will go and if we hit shift and Q our sketch will stop and if we come to the the finder here we can go into our processing folder and you can see we have a PDF now which has a recording of that information. Now if we right click and go to open with, we'll open it with Adobe Illustrator, we can just have a quick look but we can see in Illustrator that each one of these circles is an individual circle. So this is a real nice thing about exporting PDFs from processing is that you have that nice crisp image that you can export not like a, a JPEG or a TIFF, which will bitmap or kind of distort when you print it at a large scale, but this is totally crisp. 
um, and if we zoom in we can see that all our lines from our processing sketch look super nice and will print out perfectly. Okay, so that's how to add in a PDF export into your processing sketch. If you have any questions about processing, then please visit my website, benhousel.com, or drop me a tweet at benhousel.